Uh, what's our signal at? 63 percent. It is apparently no object. It hasn't defined that yet. But it does look like a bit of a gray, crappy planet. Maybe a moon, probably. Um, I guess I can do... Hi, why am I tilted? There we go. Still tilted, alright. Um, do an SV dot ping. Just to check and make sure that everything's still online. Awesome stuff. Um, oh, there is one thing down in here, though. Which I guess allows me to explain how this works. So we just press E on it, and then we get sent to this screen where we just have to solve math equations. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you when you probably already know how this game works anyways, but I don't know. Just in case, uh, you just gotta solve the math equations. The last digit is usually the answer. So 7 plus 2, that would be 9. Uh, 0 plus 0, that's 0. 9 plus 0, that's 9. Uh, 5 plus 6, that's 11, I think. This is also a series that's really going to embarrass me about how horrible and slow my mental math is. 9 plus 2, that's also 11. 9 plus 4, that would be 13. 9 plus 7, that is 16. 6 minus 3, that's 3. And there you go. Which has given me a total of 5 credits. I'm pretty sure if you do those faster, then you get more for doing it faster. Um, so that's clearly something I'm never going to be able to do. <laughs> Um, who knows, maybe this game will invoke my... stimulate my mental math again. Is that 78%? I feel like there's nothing else I can really do besides maybe catch my character up on some sleep. Uh, I love hearing the... the source physics in the background, even though it's not actually source. Also, what was that? Was that rain? Well, that's the pine cones. Quote, unquote. Alright, I can re refresh that last 5% with the toilet. Um, maybe give myself some breakfast. There we go. Come on. There we go. Um, let's do 15 this time. I do love the source sound effects. Very much liking that. Um, I'm actually going to turn down my sound because I've got a sneaking suspicion that it might be a bit loud on the recording. There we go. Chomp on some of that. There we go. 100% on everything. Now that signal should be pretty good. We don't actually have a quota to do today. I guess what we can actually just straight up do is just, if I want to, I can just grab signals all day today and then get some tomorrow and then just send all that out then. Um, I think that would actually be a pretty decent idea. So now we gotta grab a drive, slam that into there, stop spamming my phone, whoever you are. Oh, great, they left the moist man. I'm sure that's gonna totally not be my work. Um, and then we just... I think we just import it. Right? Save? No? Oh no, save signal here. There we go. And then we can save the signal onto our computer and then play it. Yeah, that sounded, you know, peak ASMR to the ears. Though, I I found it almost, like, intriguing how, it, like, it just sounded like normal, like, just corruption static. And then it almost, like, there was, like, almost a wind that picked up halfway through. But, yeah, that's our signal. We can't do anything about, about the audio quality until we get this thing, which uh, I don't think we have anything for that right now, right? That's processing level. Yeah, we have 0 3, so we can't do that right now. But we can import it into the drive, take the drive out, and then have it be ready to ship off to our coworkers so they can analyze it and do whatever 
astronomical physics research it is that they do from that. Everything I said there is probably bullshit, but you know, that's the gameplay loop of this game, roughly. Um, with obviously the only exception being me having to drive out to each one of these towers, eventually, and fix them up. Which is possible using this map. I can put you on the ground. That's interesting. Would you fit here? You actually kind of do. Alright. So yeah, no, the map was always facing this way, so... I guess in order to make it proper, I need to face it this direction then. There we go. So that's F right there. Beyond that's going to be U. Which is Foxtrot and Uniform. And then you got your Transformer Towers. Which I'm sitting on one of them. Yeah, I think this... I think I, I want it... I'm, I'm good with doing this. And I think this is in the same direction. This is facing... Yeah, it says it right there. This uh, is telling us that there's a couple things here. It looks to only be the ATV, the base itself, and me, question mark? I don't know. Uh, so I guess there's nothing else to do except uh, instantly get started on another signal and then do the waiting game and just continue on. I guess while they do that, might as well... Not only get a good look at them doing their job, which is awesome that they have source sounds and also animations for them to actually do this. So, is it normal for that to happen, or is it just waiting to turn that direction before it starts to angle down? Yeah, alright. That's actually really cool. Alright, time has passed. That's interesting. Sorry about that. I actually uh, listened to the voicemail that I got, and it's actually quite weird, because I opened it and it was just silence. Like, not even room silence, there was, there was not a single sound coming through it for about about a whole minute. So, that's odd, I don't know what to do with that, but I guess it's not my problem. Um, the signal is not downloading because I've not been setting it up, so let's f quickly fix that. Are you on linear? No, you are not. So, are you on the right? Yes, you are. Yes! Awesome! 100% on both sides. That's beautiful. Alright. While that downloads, let's go and uh, do an SV ping, because I'm sure something's going to be down. While it does that, I'm going to check in here, which there is two. That's not good. And 8 minus 2, that is 6. Awesome. 8, 11, 6, 9, negative 3, 8, 14, 3 minus 3, that's 0. Awesome. I think that yellow box and that yellow number is kind of what you're wanting to beat in order to get, hopefully, a bit more out of it. Uh, how do you scroll? Uh, SCR. Use J and K to scroll the log. In which all the servers are perfectly fine still. Awesome stuff. Let me just tend to my needs because I don't want that to get out of whack because if we're low on food then we start to basically just start ragdolling at random points. If we're low on sleep then uh, we start going crazy basically. And also the lower sleep we are the more worse sleep we get basically. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Awesome. Let's not waste the power bill. That is something I have yet to actually mention, is the fact that we will need to tend to the power. Which I should probably check on that right now. That would be TR check. Which lowest one is TR2 at 82. And then there's uh, TW check. Which... Uh, Checks to see if the radio tower is online, which is what allows us to call in the drone to pick up our signals. Let's go see what it's like outside. Ah, nature. And also, random as hell wind farm right there. <laughs> if I recall correctly, there are uh, little firewatch towers posted at some of the corners in the skybox. 
or I say skybox. It's not really a skybox in this game, um, because it's not the source engine. What in the world was that? I think that was our signal getting done. No, it wasn't. Then, uh, what was that? Was that a tower going down? Maybe, because Foxtrot's not down. I guess we can go do that. While we're waiting, let's see, where's Foxtrot at? Foxtrot is the one right ahead of us. Right there. Half-Life 2 Jeep, my beloved. Decently, like, really good visuals in this game, by the way. I like the art style. It's, like, almost like Source, but more like if the low qualityness of the Source engine textures were, like, intentional as an art style. Oh, and there's rain. That kind of sucks for our signal, because that's going to screw things up. There we are. There we go. Now we should be good. Crouch, jump, oh, and break my fucking legs. There we go. Oh, listen to that. You can hear the wind. Oh, that sucks. You actually were able to hear the wind rushing past our face as we were going down the hill. That was a neat feature. It's going to take a little while to get to the hang of how this game handles, but overall, I'm liking it. I saw my map on the ground and the blackness of the river depth, I thought it was just like blood just sitting there on the floor and I was like, what in the world? Yeah, that knocked off us course, but that knocked off us course. Yeah, that's how we speak here. There we are. Perfect, right back to where we were. It didn't matter. Oh, and now it's telling us stuff. It got a dwarf planet. We're looking at Pluto, guys. It's confirmed. Justice for Pluto. I feel like <laughs> what I just said angered everyone in that scenario. Uh, is this soap? Why am I able to eat it? I think this is the, the sponge, though, right? Chicken burger. Alright. I didn't know I had that. Oh, and there's the warning for my headset. We might have to call it here. Um, we've been recording for about 50 minutes. I think I can go a bit longer. I know my headset's got a decent warning time on it, so... Where did that sponge go? Oh, I'm holding it. I think how this thing works is that you just dunk it in the water, and then you start scrubbing. I love the fucking bug bait sounds. <laughs> oh, that makes it so funny. And there we go. Grime be gone. And it doesn't work, so we need to re-soak it. Which I don't know how this water is fucking used to clean stuff when it's got trash in it. That's going to be a very long project of getting this place to actually be clean. <laughs> oh lord, that's going to be fun. Um, I think you can also just grab it, dunk it in, and then just use physics. Yeah, and that actually makes it go by a lot faster. Um, I don't. I know we can clean this window, but I'm not sure as to how effective we would be able to do that. I mean, it's not good, honestly, but it's not as bad as I was thinking. Um, I think there might be another way of doing that. Oh, here's the break room, by the way. Hold on, let me actually just confirm a theory real quick. Give me this. Okay, no, I was about to say, am I supposed to repair cracks in the floor using the sponge? 
Oh yeah, that's something else that we have to do. I completely forgot about that. Is um doing the reports. We have to go when we eventually get the next day to show up where we actually need to do work. Um, we need to go get three hash codes from a random set of the towers, and then write it down on this uh, book, tear out a page, put it on the box, and then send it off. I just cleaned up the wall. I think. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's food in here. Give me that. And then I'm gonna take that. Oh, there's chocolate in here. We got shrimp and a drive just chilling in the freezer. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's how my PC stays cool. It makes me wonder as to how long this place was just abandoned here for, for this much trash. Or actually no, that wouldn't even be abandonment unless if there were like looters or something coming here and messing up the place. But like, just how much? How like how is it possible that someone just accumulated this much trash here? Look at that. I, w I wish the window. Hold on, let me try and look through. There we go. Just the way that the just the invite the foreground is just complete blackness except for a few spots and the background is just the sky with the sun setting that's that's really neat i like that the visuals in this game are actually really just like i like them and i'm surprised that i'm running it as well as i am while recording i think before i was recording i was getting like 115 i think now that i'm recording getting just above 60 um that could also just because i'm here in the base now and there's also lights on and stuff so, hold on. Why is this not working anymore? Fix object in places, middle mouse button. So it would either be middle mouse or the drop item, which is R. Neither of those are doing anything. Now it's right click? What in the world? Okay. Hey -o. There's a new uh, contact on the radar and took two new contacts. Let's see here, if that's Foxtrot, that would be over by TR1, I think that is. That's that's right where that seems to be at. And the other one is actually not really near it, but it's like half similar to X-ray or TR2. In fact, speaking of the Transformers, I should probably check up on how they're doing. Uh, 70, 82, and 94. TR1 went down a bit. Which is actually where that contact is coming from. Is there someone messing with my generator? Oh, there's another one in the world. You know, there's something sitting at TR1, and my TR1 just dropped from like 90 to 70. While TR2 was at 80, and it's still at 80. Let's go, let's go see what that's about. Wow, this is some mountainous terrain we're going through right now. I really need uh, some signs to show off so I can tell where I need to go. Where am I supposed to... Oh wait, there's TR1 right there. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. At least not anymore. Ah! You know, what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keeping that. I'm keeping that as a temporary weapon. There is fuel here. I don't. Can I? Hold on. Can I condense fuel? I don't think I can. I can. I guess use these right now though. I don't know what my fuel is at. Um, 85, yeah, I can... There we go. What would that contact be? But, uh, once we get this signal done, uh, I think we'll be... 
kind of on our way to having our first day show up, and then we can actually get that sent out. But before then, I'll have to end the episode right here because I've been recording for an hour, and I already know that that's going to be probably like a 30-minute video when it's all condensed. And I will probably need to split that into parts because... Um, I didn't split from the Fog 13 into parts, and so far it's kicking me in the ass because of it. So I'll try and split this into parts so that way I can actually get it uploaded in hopefully a decent manner. And welcome home. We're all done here, and then we can just plop that into there. Uh, it's probably gonna sound crap. Yeah, it sounds about right. Um, but I'll save that signal just so that way when we do get the processing thing up, we can actually take these and listen to them and see what they actually were supposed to sound like. Which that gives me another good drive. And then I think that will uh, be about it for this episode of... Or not... Well, yeah, this episode. I was about to say not this episode because I split into parts, but this recording session at least. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed this first episode as to what will hopefully be a pretty fun series of Voices of the Void. Uh, give your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, please, and thank you. And if you did like it, remember to click the like button because... You know, there's people like me that exist who really enjoy a video and then forget that the like button exists. So, you know, if you want to show that you actually did enjoy it, then feel free to, you know, hit that. And, you know, even though YouTube kind of completely ruined that button, uh, if you dislike the video, feel free to actually dislike it. You know, all the reception, I guess, helps a lot. So... That'll be all for now, and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode of whatever it is I will be playing. I'll see you then, everyone.